While India Inc. has been waiting keenly for REITs, there's another new buzzword that has Indian developers captivated when it comes to uh, all kinds of channels or routes to raise funds. I'm talking about Commercial Mortgage Backed Securities or CMBS, an instrument that promises to act as an alternate source of funds for Indian realty. What are they and who stands to benefit? Nikhil Sivadas has this report. It's a tough time to be a developer in India. Many are struggling to cope with a prolonged slump and escalating costs. In this scenario, a new instrument, Commercial Mortgage-Backed Securities or CMBS, has the realty sector a buzz. Uh, what it does is essentially allow uh, developers that have uh, lease income generating portfolio of assets to use this asset into uh, getting a rating which is much higher than their standalone credit quality. What it does is that it allows therefore them to access the corporate bond market. Realty firms DLF and K Raheja Group have been among the first to take the CMBS route. K Raheja raised nearly 340 crore rupees through its subsidiary in time properties, while DLF has raised nearly 900 crores on its small assets. DLF Emporio and DLF Promenade. Taken together, reports suggest that they account for a little over half the funds raised by real estate firms across instruments in 2014. So how does a CMBS work? Here, developers issue non-convertible debentures on a commercial asset to investors in exchange for funds. The interest on the amount is paid off using the lease rentals from the asset. And the principal is paid off in a lump sum or a bullet repayment at the end of the CMBS tenure. It gives long-term uh, you know, debt capital to the developers who have completed the projects and they are able to securitize uh, their rentals and then uh, look at uh, you know, developing new, new, new uh, projects as they go forward. Another factor contributing to increased developer interest in CMBS is the uncertainty over REITs. Realty players and experts alike are waiting to see how the first mover in REITs will fare before committing themselves. From an investor standpoint or from a developer standpoint, I think today because there is no clarity and CMBS has already been issued and it has been fairly successful, which gives avenue and that is why I think it will go ahead and only time will say what the final REIT outcome is. Experts believe players with large commercial assets will be looking at this with interest, while DLF has already indicated that they will be going in for further CMBS issuances. Developers like uh, Hiran Andani, uh, South-based developers like Prestige, uh, developers like Phoenix, developers like Runwals who have large uh, mall properties, they can also buy. Realty firms are undecided as to whether to go for REITs or CMBS. Most are still waiting for further clarification on the final form of REITs before taking their call. But the success of CMBS has them intrigued. While these companies make their plans, one thing is clear for sure. Funding for the realty sector has gotten a whole lot easier thanks to CMBS. From Mumbai, Nikhil Shivdas, NDTV.